it's July 15, 2006. We'd like to welcome everyone to the 23rd annual Rondo Day celebration. And of course, the theme is returning home because we're back at the Martin Luther King Center this year, Bernard. That's right. This is Bernard Foster along with Stanley Felix for the 23rd annual Rondo Day's Parade. As it begins, we're the police color guard is approaching the booth at this time. They'll be the first ones coming around the corner here, and it's good to see them, always with the stars and stripes coming by to begin the parade. And our grand marshal this year is Miss Willie Mae Wilson, Doretha Burns, Mahmoud El-Kata, and Bobby Hickman. And they'll be following the color guard coming around the corner here. Well, Stanley, it's a beautiful day for the parade today. It's going to get a little hot, but right now it's not that bad out here. Uh, I think we're going to get out of here before it's sweltering. We're going to enjoy it, though, and hope everybody will join us down at Martin Luther King Center, and uh, that's where the celebration is once again this year. And uh, I think it's going to be beautiful down there. It's a nice hilly area, nice grassy, nice, lots of shade. A lot of trees, a lot of trees, and it's back home this year. Here comes St. Paul's Finest, Police Department. It's a color guard there, walking, walking tall. Yeah, it's nice to have a couple cut throughs right in the middle of the color <laughs> guard there. So, you know, I wish to get a better vantage point to see the parade. Yeah, I guess so. I want to find some shade because it's getting a little warm out there. See the Twin Star Post, 8854 is uh, coming through with the color guard. The guy has a good job. He has a cart full of water. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that job either. You know, you know, always stay cool. <laughs> you, you got to on a day like today. This is a Twin Star via W Post. Mr. Kirk, the commander of that post. Here comes St. Paul Mayor Chris Coleman in this contingency. Now Chris must be in the truck there riding. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it comes with the job, right? Comes with the job, no doubt. Okay, we have all of our Grand Marshals coming through now. Once again, we have Willie Mae Wilson and Miss Doretha Burns and also Mahmoud El Cate and Bobby Hickman. This year's Grand Marshals. <laughs> also in that group is Father Kevin and the St. Peter Claver group. This is St. Paul Fire Chief, Doug Holton, and crew. And one of the fire rigs from engine company number five. Looks like one of the newer fire trucks there. It's great to see the community getting out for this parade every year, you know, and I think every year I enjoy this parade more and more. We have right. Father Kevin with uh, St. Peter Claver coming through right now. And Father Kevin, it's, it's, it's so much he's done for the neighborhood, getting the school started again in St. Peter Claver and uh, getting that program off to a really good start, and it's doing real well. Hey, it's good to see that school 
back in action. It has to have been out of existence for the last, what? It was out for like 20 years, but it's great to be back there to have the kids get a good formal education. And for it to be part of the neighborhood again. That's true. Coming up now is the Ramsey County Sheriff Department. And they're all terrain summer vehicles. Right, right before, I'm sorry that we missed them, but we did have Planet Ford, which is a minority owned business here in the community here. And they were just the head of the Sheriff's Department there. They're kind of a little close to Father Kevin, so they look like part of his entourage. And for that, we're sorry. Now we have the Sheriff himself running yep. around and shaking hands. Yep, huh? Sheriff Fletcher. As we all know, he's running again for office this year. Coming up behind the ship, we have uh, Concordia College coming up here. Concordia University, I'm sorry, St. Paul, right at Hamlin and Concordia. It's a college I went to back in my day. Now yeah. it's a university. They've gotten pretty big over the years, too. They've moved up to Division II and all their sports. Yeah, they're up and coming. Uh, back when I played with them, we were in the, the old NAIA. Oh, that's true. <laughs> nice homer! That must be the nice Chancellor's homer. truck they're riding in. So uh, while we got a little break here, let's look at a few of our sponsors that we have for the parade today. Yeah, this year, the Round Today's Parade is sponsored by Quest, Medtronics, the Selby area, CDC, Mount Olivet Baptist Church, Ramsey County Sheriff Department, Concordia University, also XL Energy is on board this year. We'd also like to thank Clear Channel, KFAI Radio, and KMLJ Radio 89.9. We have Quick other Plan and uh, Western Bank, Eco Labs, Pioneer Press is here every year. Welcome them back again. African American News Network, First Fridays Incorporated, and the Spokesman Recorder. Just a few of our many sponsors at this year's festivities. Also another Rondo Day sponsor is MPAD, the Minnesota Partnership for Action Against Tobacco. With help, you're up to seven times more likely to quit smoking. Please contact Quit Plan Services at their festival booth to get free support. The Rondo Day Festival is a smoke-free event. Thank you. Okay, we have the East Side Finest coming up here. breaking the action here. Yeah, it's uh, the great, and I can't get the other word, but it presents <laughs> East Side's finest. Oh, it's a drill team. It's a drill oh, here, team. Here they okay. come. Okay, all right, yeah. drill team. I think the sign was just a little bit too big for the front <laughs> of the truck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we won't tell anyone. <laughs> but here they come, and they're blue and white. The East Side drill team. All right, we're getting our first drill team here, and once again, it's the East Side's finest. The that's correct, the East Side's finest. Well, Stan, I think they get ready to break it down for us. It's showtime.
first fine performance and at his east side's finest. Thank you, ladies. You guys we, stay cool out there now. It's and hot. we see they're full of energy because they got Quest for it coming up behind them. Yeah, Quest is one of our sponsors today. Actually, Quest is proud to be a presenting sponsor of today's Rondo Day's Parade and encourages festival attendees to visit the Quest Interactive Jeep where they'll have a chance to win great prizes like iPod Nanos, DVD players, and iTunes downloads. Quest community initiatives work to bolster students' success, increase community involvement, and encourage financial investment. We'd like to thank Quest for being one of our sponsors this year. So let's all get out and get by that Quest boost and see what they're about and win some of those good prizes they have. Now we have the Twin Cities Continental Societies Incorporated. The public service organization is, has planned and implemented many educational programs in the Twin Cities metro area, centered around health, education, employment, and recreation. <laughs> <laughs> now we have boxing here. This team Minnesota of Hutchinson. A correction, it's Peter Hutchinson for governor. Sorry, Mr. Hutchinson. <laughs> There's a little typo error here on my on my sheet. As you can see, there's Peter Hutchinson. He's running for governor, independent party. And we got John James for attorney general. Lucy Gerald for mayor. And these are all the independent party candidates here. All intermixed with Team Minnesota. Not left, not right, but forward. Urging everyone to get out and vote November 7th. Up next, we have the UNL Drill and Dance Performing Arts Team. Okay, the Marching Sizzlers, the UNL Dance and Drill Team. Now, I believe they're from Kansas City, Stanley. I we usually have several groups out of Kansas City. They always come up for a round all day and uh, perform for us, and I think that's really great. Of them. They have some really good teams out of there. Well, here they go. <laughs> See, they stopped at the shade of dance. <laughs> You know what, Stanley, after a dance like that for five minutes, I think I would be done for the day. I'd be hooked up to that quest <laughs> to get me some energy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Kevin Benjamin, the MC Hammer. interesting getting to the drill competition tonight make sure you get down to the park and get your tickets they sell very quickly that's the UNL drill and dance team from Kansas City thank you the United States Senate. Time resident of St. Paul. Retired from the Chiefs Department. And, and the target volunteers directly behind her. Target Corporation operates 1,249 stores in 47 states, as well as online business. DFL party candidates coming up behind Target. Betty McCollum for Congress. Keith Ellison for Congress. There's a group for Hatch for Governor. Can I forget Mark Ritchie for State Secretary of State? You know, Rondo Days, I'd like to give a shout out to our own child of Rondo, Deborah Cooper. Deborah represents Quest and has played a key role in Rondo Days' success this year. She was also editor for the Rondo Days 2006 commemorative booklet, which is on sale at the festival information booth for $5. I'd like to thank Deborah Cooper for all her efforts. And coming up behind Otto for State Auditor, we got. Johnny Babies, which is one of the local bar and grills here in the neighborhood, in the uh, Model T driven by Norm. And uh, who do we have representing uh, Johnny Babies today? Let's see, we got Katie in the front, and let's see who's in the back. You know, I'm missing who that is in I the back, because I don't know who that is. I don't, I don't know either. Candy Man, he's throwing candy. He's the Candy Man, oh, okay. Dr. Crutchfield and his family, longtime physician in the city of St. Paul. All right. And then the Andy. fancy little Corvette, D. E. Henry Williams from KFI Fresh Air Radio. Thanks for coming out this year. They're always a part of this celebration, year in and year out. In the Capitol Hill Magnet School. <laughs> Coming up on our next float, we have the 2006 St. Paul Winter Carnival Royal Family.
and the notorious Vulcan crew following them. There they are throwing their beads, Stanley. It's like Mardi Gras. Thank you, sir. The captain of the St. Paul Winter Carnival just gave me one of his buttons. <laughs> Representing the senior royalty from St. Paul Winter Carnival with the Queen of the Northlands, Connie Gabriel, the Prime Minister, Edward Ermreiter, the Lady for, of Waiting, Marianne Adcock, the Princess of the Four Winds, I'm sorry, the Prince of the Four Winds, James Dyfell, and the Princess of the Four Winds, Miss Carol Nelson. I'd like to thank you all for coming out this year. And there's the Vulcan crew. This is a change. They have women on the crew this year. This is King Winter, Queens of the Northland. Prime Minister and the Lady in Waiting, riding through. There goes the Prince of the Princes of the Four Winds. Now we have coming up is the uh, Blue Blue Cross Blue Shield of Minnesota Bronze Achievers African American Resource Group. Coming up for your entertainment is the half pine drill team. They'll be coming up to perform for us in a few. It goes the half pine to St. Paul, Minnesota. are with us every year continuously and they put on a very marvelous performance. Here goes the half pint. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen, the half pints drill team from St. Paul, Minnesota. You can check them out tonight at the competition up at Griffith Stadium at St. Paul Central High School. Coming up next, sh Sheriff Candidate, William Finney. Bill Finney for Ramsey County Sheriff.
I guess we can say this is a Finney for Sheriff group, right? I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> Coming up next is the Youth Initiative Mentoring Academy. This is a program set up for mentoring at-risk youth in the metropolitan area. They must stay busy. Well, let's hope they stay busy. It's good to have programs that keep these children off the street, we give need, us some activities. We need a do. lot of programs like that. Oh, yeah. I tip my hat to the more. people who run that. Coming up next is the Junior Royalty for the St. Paul Winter Carnival. I wonder why they don't have a float. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me think of the youth taking a walk, huh? Yep. Hey, St. Paul. Parks and Recreation, Winter, Car Winter Carnival Junior Royalty Court is King Frost, is Chris Beecham, Queen of the Snowflakes is Lulette Mola, Junior Prime Minister is Chase Gunderson, Lady in Waiting is Samantha Finer, Prince of the Four Winds, Will Wilson, and Prince of the Four Princess of the Four Winds is Courtney Igbo. Thank you. As we have a little slight break here in action, we'd like to give thanks to Inside News for the generous media support of Rondo Days 2006. Other great media sponsors include the St. Paul Pioneer Press, KFAI Radio, Clear Channel, KMOJ, Minnesota Spokesman Recorder, the African News Journal, and First Fridays. We'd also like to thank First Image Photography. And by the way, KMOJ celebrities will be emceeing tonight's Drew competition at Central High School's Griffin Stadium. Up next is the Baltimore All-Stars. So we get ready for a mini performance from them shortly. Baltimore All-Stars are one of the groups that have been with us for over the years here, several times, several performances. Another one of the groups you'll see perform at the, at the stepping competition tonight. They get to work for, the, for traveling the first to come be a part of Rondo Days.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Baltimore All Stars, Baltimore, Maryland. Up next is the Jimmy Lee T Ball team. Oh, correction, Jimmy Lee B Baseball team. And T Ball League. I guess they're used to the heat. They play out in this every day. Jim Lee Seeler has been part of this community for several years, 20 years, right? And uh, it's good to see they're still active in the community. And one of the remaining groups, like uh, Hallie Q. Brown, in the, uh, for a uh, place for the teenagers to go and get youth to go and have activities and things to do other than be out in the street. That's right. Actually, they broke ground for the new Jimmy Lee Center actually yesterday. So they're going to build a new multi-million dollar facility down there, which is needed. They got a lot of participants in this little T-bar pitching machine league. A lot of girls I see are playing ball this year. You girl girls. So those boys, they, they're not the only ones that play. T-bar is not for just the boys. Up next is the Head Start program of St. Paul. Community Action Head Start is an educational and enrichment program for low-income families. Their only mission is to help children and parents achieve a full life. And the St. Paul Public Library, the Bookmobile, which has been around for years. I used to go to that thing when I was a kid. Yep. <laughs> Well, it's been around longer than us because it dates back all the way to 1917. So it's good to see the bookmobile is still getting around the neighborhood. Oh, that's good. With Miss Minnesota Junior Team, Ashley Johnson. We have another congressional candidate coming up, Obi Sim. Obi Sim for Congress. Oh, you got supporters out there. They're chanting his name. Ob, <laughs> Ob. Uh, we have the Pilgrim Baptist Church uh, group coming up now. B Pilgrim Baptist Church located at Central and Grotto. Church has been in the neighborhood over a hundred years. And one of the original black churches here in St. Paul. on Central Avenue. That's where they all started.
Coming up next, we have the Marching Wildcats. Another group from Kansas City. Marching Wildcats from Kansas City. Up next, driving the This is the Rigorettes here, I believe. The Rigorettes uh, Women's Club, but uh, we don't have no markings here, so we're not entirely sure. Yeah, I believe that's the Rigorettes Women's Social Club. The next one should be pretty easy to. It's the pizza. Little Caesars. We're a progressive Baptist church. 1505 Burns Avenue in St. Paul. One of the new Dr. churches, community Dr. churches. Earl Miller, senior pastor there. Nice size group from Progressive Baptist Church today. Up next, I believe it's B96 coming up. In the drop top 65 Chevy.
Now he's going to perform in his low rider. He's bouncing. <laughs> well, right. you, well, you know, Stanley, back in high school, I had a car that used to do that, but I think I didn't have any. My springs were shot, though. Yeah, and you hit the bump and then right, right, to do that. Police told me not to throw out another note because I hear somebody back there. What? Why are you going to call me a liar? That ain't cool. You called me a liar. Happy Bond, though. That's Fox 96. We got Fox 9 News coming up behind Beat 96 there. With yours truly, Ms. Robin Robinson. She's playing it right. She got that umbrella. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Robin Robinson, Fox 9 News. We got the Urban Academy. Charter School coming up right now. And we got some independent performers here, and I'm not exactly sure who they are. But we're going to let them entertain us a little bit here while the, uh, and they could be with the Urban Academy. I, th I think they're independent, so what do you think? Oh, now they're going to put the banner up, so we don't know. We missed the banner. Missed the banner. A little throwing entertainment on the side. <laughs> and coming up, another candidate for Minnesota office. Becky Laurie for governor. <laughs> Sorry about that, Becky. <laughs> Becky Laurie for governor. I suppose if there's a breeze today here, we get that windmill effect, huh? He's trying to make it spin. Oh, there it goes. Don't have enough breeze. Just another reminder for all those attending the events down at the Martin Luther King Center, Quest encourages all festival attendees to visit their Quest Interactive Jeep, where you'll have a chance to win great prizes like iPods, DVD players, and iTunes downloads. Quest community initiatives work to bolster student success, increase community involvement, and encourage financial investment. That's all from Quest. Here we have a group from the Lutheran Church of the Redeemer. Okay, I'm back with you. Okay. We have the Mount Calvary Marching Knights coming up to perform for us from Omaha, Nebraska. Big Red Country.
That was the Mount Carey Marching Knights from Omaha, Nebraska, ladies and gentlemen. They'll be part of the drill team activities tonight at Griffith Stadium at 6 o'clock. chapter of the Order of the Eastern Star. Wayne Clanton, worthy grand patron, and Olivia Dye, worthy grand matron. Cornelius Davis, Imperial Deputy. They're all part of the Pheasant Temple number 256. And Prince Hall Grand Chapter. Keith Johnson, Imperial Deputy of the Oasis. Faison Temple 26. Alex Horn. They have quite the entourage here today. Yes, they do. Saw Chapter and Faison Temple 256. Coming up, the Isis Ritz, another part of the Pheasant Court, the Desert of Minnesota. I said threats is a marching group. It's uh, the uh, usually daughters or granddaughters of the uh, with uh, part of the Faison Temple. And it's part of the Red Hat Society, riding around in their red van, red <laughs> Ford. Bubbling Brown Sugar is a softball team, one of the neighborhood groups here. Here comes M Dot.
It's the last thing you want to see on a day like today is the snow plow, right, Stan? Uh, <laughs> yeah, bring on the snow. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be here soon. You better believe it. People be wishing for these days again. You know, in front of Mendai was Bubbling Brown Sugar, and they're, they're a women's group that meets once a month there for uh, at, at Golden Time Coffee. We have Tony Carter for... Uh, County Commissioner. County Commissioner. And of course, Tony Carter is the current County Commissioner for the 4th District. Coming up behind Tony Carter, we have the Sierra Club. The North Star Chapter. And the Major Taylor Bicycle Club. Right behind the Tony Carter group. I suppose we have time for who's who in the neighborhood here. St. Paul Fire Chief, Douglas A. Horton. We have City Council Member, Debbie Montgomery. We have Board, uh, Ramsey County Commissioner, District 4, Tony Carter. And of course, Police Chief Harrington of the St. Paul Police Department. I'd like to give a, you know, a, a thank you from some of our sponsors today. Quest, Medtronics in the Selby area, CDC, the Quit Plan Company, Wells Fargo, the Western State Bank, I'm sorry, Western Bank, Ecolab, the Ramsey County Sheriff's Department, Concordia University, Mount Olivet Baptist Church, and some of our media sponsors, Inside News, the Pioneer Press, <laughs> KFAI Radio, KMOJ Radio, Clear Channel Outdoor Station, Spokesman Recorder, the African News Network, First Fridays Incorporated, and the XL Energy Company. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors. If it wasn't for them, we couldn't put on this parade today. Once again, don't forget to stop by the Quest booth down there. They're going to be uh, giving away some goodies down there, and you get information on Quest and what they're about, what they do for the community, as well as uh, put in the win. They got iPod, DVD players, and iTunes downloads. So uh, make sure you stop by the Quest booth down at the uh, Martin Luther King Center there. Well, I hear the drums in the distance there, Stanley. I guess we're going to have another performance coming up soon. Yep. In the meanwhile, I'd like to hit another sponsor, which is uh, Minnesota Partners in Actions Against Tobacco. Uh, with help, they're up seven times more likely to quit smoking. Contact the Quick Plan Services at the festival booth. And uh, don't forget, once again, the event today is smoke free. So welcome to Rondo Day and uh, enjoy yourself down at the Martin Luther King Center. comes the Edmondson Village Steppers. While they approach us, once again, we'd like to thank Insight News for the generous media support at uh, Rondo Days 2006. Other great media supporters today was the St. Paul Pioneer Press, KFAI, Clear Channel, KMOJ, Minnesota Spokesman Recorder, African News Journal, First Fridays, First Image Photography, 
By the way, KMOJ celebrates by emceeing tonight's drill team competition at Central High School Griffin Stadium. So hope to see you all there at the competition tonight, and uh, many of these groups you see performing will be competing tonight. So this is one of the warm-ups here for the competition tonight, so please enjoy. Edmonton Village Steppers, from another group from Baltimore, Maryland. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Edmondson Village Steppers from Baltimore, Maryland. Good luck in tonight's competition at Griffin Stadium at 6 o'clock. Up next, Old Country Buffet. Oh, let me follow that truck. I think I can get my grub on. Okay, here comes the Knights of Saint uh, Knights of Peter Claver. Father Theobald Concert 256. Knights of uh, Saint Peter and Ladies Auxiliary National African American Catholic Fraternity Society 
with nearly a full century of history and 25 years of presence locally. There's the Mad Dad's Mobile Outreach Unit. Minneapolis Mad Dad. We got some female bikers. Now the biker group there. We have class act coming up here now, uh, class act MC. That was the True Breed Motorcycle Club that just went past. Again, this is one of the many drill teams you'll see competing tonight at up at Central High School. At the Griffin Stadium. Uh, make sure you join if you want tickets. Make sure you get in early because the tickets go fast. Class Act MC. Now we have coming up is uh, Metropolitan State University. Students and staff. Up next, Ramsey County Sheriff, Bob Fletcher, and his group. And the Fletcher Volunteer Committee. Just a little bit. <laughs> Bob Fletcher and his entourage. Street beat. Mobile DJ units. Oh, we got a golf uh, exhibition coming up now. Four. Fairway Foundation, keep kids on course. They use 
off a little bit. Okay, there's the Pilgrim Baptist Church group. Coming up next. demonstration on the motorcycles, you know, pop wheelies, or what's, uh, what's up next? I'm not sure. And this is the True Breed Motorcycle Club here you're seeing right here, folks. And uh, they got some pretty bikes. I hope you're enjoying the sight. Oh, I, I inadvertently announced the girls group as the True Breed Motorcycle Club. <laughs> I apologize, Oops. gentlemen. <laughs> Oops. This is the True Breed Motorcycle Club. I guess they're not used to sitting in traffic like this, are they? Nope, I'd say not. It's a little warm on a motorcycle when you just sit. That was fun. There's a little wheelie. Thank you. Just think of those are all Harleys. <laughs> uh, we talk about noise. Okay, we have the Green Party coming up here, and their candidate is uh, Jesse Mortensen. Dave Berger for State Auditor.
Coming up behind the green party here, we have KMOJ. One of the sponsors of today's parade. 89.9. Coming up behind KMOJ, we have the parade director, Mark Beecham, along with board member, LaVera Daisy. Once again, right behind KMOJ, we have the parade director, Mark Beecham, along with board member, Levere Daisy. And we see Adrian Beecham in the back seat there, waving at the crowd. Hello, people. And while we're bringing up the mayor, I'd like to say that we are Missing one of our parade commentators this year. Over the year, we lost uh, Craig Jones. Unfortunately, he passed away. God bless you, Craig Jones, and uh, we hope we see you in the future. Oh, definitely. We will see him in the future. So, Craig, I hope you're looking down at this year's festival. It's not the same without you, but uh, you will be deeply missed by your friends. It's July 15, 2006, and this is the 23rd annual Rondo's Day celebration. Returning home to the Martin Luther King Center, and uh, tonight's festivities for the uh, stepping and uh, drill competition all will be at Central High School at Griffin Stadium. Make sure you buy your tickets right away because they sell out fast, and uh, they're limited with how many tickets they have. Uh, Bernard, it's been a pleasure doing the parade with you this year. Hey, uh, thanks for having me, Stanley. You know. Trying to keep up Craig's good work here, so uh, <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't easy shoes to fill, but you know. I hope we did a good job for you there, Craig. God bless you wherever you are right now, and uh, hope you're with us in spirit all the time. Thank you once again for being here at the parade. I hope you all do remember Craig in your prayers there, and uh, hope you enjoy today's festivities down at Martin Luther King Center.